Um, I figured that I would do the transfer from the from the wheelchair to the beds uh, before I'm clipping my toenails. Um, there, there was one toenail that was pretty bad. Uh, the big toes, the big toenails, actually are the ones that grow the most. Uh, and it's, it's just weird about the growth is because I have, um, I landed on the left side of my skull, so I have a little bit of paralysis on the right side of my body. And for some reason, whenever I was clipping my toenails today, I noticed that there was more, more, more growth in the toenails on the left side than there was and the uh, toenails, um, the growth of the toenails on uh, the right of my right leg. So that was kind of curious. Um, the the doctor, the podiatrist, I think had cut out about 90% of my toenail. I think uh, the big, the right big right toenail about um, probably four or five months ago or something like that. Um, it's still growing back. It's still taking a long, it takes a long time to grow back. It's on my right foot and I don't have as great circulation on my right foot that it is. I do on my left foot. Um, so it takes luck. Like I said, it takes longer for the nail to grow. Um, one thing that's really, really important is to, uh, I always, uh, I, I figured that it was probably a good idea to run my fingernail, run my fingernail underneath my toenails, underneath each of my toenails, so that way I can see the white spot that I can cut, uh, that I can clip safely and I won't, uh, I won't accidentally cut my toe cut any of my skin or anything like that and make it bleed. Um, it, it's not necessarily that it would hurt um, or my leg would spasm or anything like that if I did accidentally cut my cut my skin, cut my toe. But um, the bummer thing about it is, is it takes so long for it to heal and it you know, you just gotta really stay on top of it. You know, you gotta make sure that it doesn't get infected. You know, put antibiotic on it, or, or, uh, you know, one of the most important things is one of the things that really, really helps is to put a band-aid on it. You know, at least put a band-aid on it, and that, that way it gets some kind of protection. Um, I use all of my feet a lot actually to push open doors. So, um, that, that's one thing, that, that that's one reason why I have to have a band-aid on there. It's good to have a band-aid because then that gives me kind of a barrier of protection. I like to use the big uh, toenail clippers. I have some smaller toenail clippers. But those are, they don't, they don't really get the job done as quickly as I would like to and they're a little bit harder for me to handle because you know my hands are so big and so it uh, you know it's it's very awkward for me to use the little uh, use the little toenail clippers um, right after I get done putting uh, you know I, I right after I get done uh, Clipping all on my toenails on my left side, then I checked out my right side, and you know it wasn't 